Although you've lived twice as long, what I'm trying to tell you right now is that you don't even understand yourselves. Ready? This nation has abandoned all of you in this country. You abandoned people. For the sake of this country's development, and because all people are the only worthless indulgers of pensions, they can be swept up into a dust pan with some red bean jelly to eat and so silenced to a large company that's exactly being like a parasitic cake. That's all of you. Once upon a time on this land, there were mulberry fields spread all across it. Because every family was raising sick ones. It's said they spawned beautiful silk. People were praised so much that this place came to be called Kinumi. After the silk farming in industry declined, they turned to growing rice. It's said a wonderful rice suitable for sake was made here. After the government's agrarian reforms, they also declined. After that, without any industries around, depopulation occurred. With the circle of towns and villages being merged, the people got by without subsidies. Then the chemical factory came five years ago, didn't it? Because of the opposition movement, you were all handed with some pocket change. Many of you even gave up farming. They even erected such a splendidly empty box like this contest center for you. They also put in the fiber optic cable that wasn't even used. You're grateful for that, right? Casting aside such an old-fashioned name of King Numi, you took up a more fashionable name of South Mount Blank City. It's young and trendy, isn't it? Now the earth today is filthy, the water is unclean, you breathe illnesses. And there's even a possibility you can no longer live on this land. But because of some give the certificates. You feel their sincerity and they are bound. How thankful you must be. This is great, really great. With that, the earth and the water will be revived, right? You'll be cured of your disease, won't you? The factory will keep discharging pollutants, but there won't be any problems, what, right? Because after all, you've got your bow with them. Why? If you're not being treated like trash, why are you being so understanding? Because you're elderly, what about it? Mm -hmm. Even though you're sick, you're trying your hardest. Like what I said, what about it? Because you, because you want pity? Because you want to be consoled? Because if you treat it kindly, you'll be happier sooner? Didn't you think your ancestors would be so ashamed that how pitiful their descendants had become? What is this South Mount Blanc? Why don't you think that Kinomi village is far more beautiful than the real Mount Blanc? With no one taking responsibility or seeing what you don't want to see. All of you can live easily well and get along with each other, can't you? But if you would like to regain some pride in your way of life, then you have to look at the reality that you don't want to see. Resign yourself to bearing deep wounds. You have to keep moving forward. That's why it's called a war. You should leave your complaints in the graveyard. Money isn't everything. It's money. It's how you show your opponent you've got the guts to return the blow you they've given you. Why you've been violated and trampled upon. The only the only way to win back your dignity is a waste of appropriate compensation. Nothing other than that. Mr. Haruo, you're a former postmaster. When the village's post office was nearly closed, again and again you were protected to the very end. Mr. Tsaburo, you are the principal of the elementary school. All the village's children are the students of yours. Your wife, Mrs. Hisako, was in the cosmetics of the city department store, where she holds the records in monthly sales. Golda Joji in truly reclaims 100 acres in fields. Although Mrs. Satoko and her husband have a rice paddy, they have untold numbers of day jobs as well. Mr. Yasuhiro, chairman of the shopping district, because he's such a booster of the yearly festival, he's sometimes called the Crystal King. Even though Mrs. Hase is a woman, she raised the six children who work with cream trucks. You are the ones who took this country from the very depth of defeat and built it into the most prosperous one. And I'm sure there's still salt left inside you somewhere.
I was an idiot for expecting that possibility, you understand? Don't waste my time trying to get me involved with old people again. Okay? Why are you trying to text vulgarly leak each other's ones? Please go to hand. With that, everyone, I beat you. Farewell! <laughs>